Rock Salt Musecast Experience, Aaron and Dave with Undefeated. Undefeated on the line from New York. There they are. How you guys doing? Doing very well. It's doing warm great. today. It's finally up in the 50s. So <laughs> Fifties, fifties. Yeah, it's warm today. It's it's cold here today in California. We're in the fifties. Nice. <laughs> it's supposed to be like eighty-four degrees on Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday. So oh, please, please, please don't hate us. Yeah, you know, in California, it's raining today, but we, you know, we're gonna suffer through the day so we can get to the eighty-four tomorrow. True. <laughs> lot here recently which just means a lot of mud but just a lot of mud yeah uh, that upstate new york mud like uh uh you get mud in the tires what was that my cousin Vinny. you guys it all right that i'm too old for that <laughs> they don't they're like who's who's me <laughs> <Who's Vinny? laughs> all right oh man so <laughs> you guys are in a little band called the undefeated you're all related right yes, yes we're all siblings i'm the awesome. oldest so I just want to say, that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would always say, "I'm I'm the oldest too," and I remind my brother every chance I have that I'm the older brother. <laughs> well, we got Christian, and we have uh, Lise on the other side, <laughs> and here's oh, I'm stumped now. I'm so bad with names. I've forgotten your name. Help Meredith. me out, <laughs> Meredith. Meredith, I can't believe I forgot that. You're good. You're I'm good. so sorry, oh. but but see anybody that knows me knows I I don't know direction very well, and I <laughs> I always forget names. So I'm, I'm I kind of forget where I'm at. I used to be like so good at names, and all of a sudden in the past like two years they just because yeah, like, you start man. getting to know people. And you're like, oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's people I, I have conversations with all the time, and like I feel like I'm I know them, but do I know their names? No. <laughs> no. See, I, and I give I give uh, names to people. So I can remember them like, you know, I, I started a new job and they were talking about this dude. And I was like, oh, Vin Diesel, because he looks like Vin Diesel. And I get, yeah, yeah, that dude. Oh, <laughs> so now he's God. just Vin Diesel. <laughs> I'll just say that. And if you're confident enough, they'll just be like, oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they'll be like, now I don't want to like, tell him that's not my name. <laughs> <so sure." laughs> right. Yeah, no, I've been calling him John for like two years now, and his name's really Jim, you know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he never corrected me. <laughs> now, you guys are, are rockers. You know, your music's upbeat, hard. Uh, are your parents rockers, too? Do they? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, way back when, my dad, my dad's favorite band is uh, Kiss. Kiss. So, oh um, man, yes, but we also it's a long story. We didn't grow up with rock music, so just discovering it in the past couple of years, we're like, hey, there's this whole new world, <laughs> a whole yeah. new world. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just so on a personal note, I grew up with southern gospel music. My parents, yeah. you know, that was always played in the car, uh, at the house, and I remember hearing like Striper for the first time, like. Who is this? Yeah, I yeah. Live a couple years ago. I was that was one of the first festivals I went to, and it was really cool. Was yeah, they they are great live. You know, my my history is uh, a little older because I had brothers that were ten years older than me, so my musical background is like Queen and Leonard yeah. Skinner and yeah. all that on eight track and records. <laughs> you don't even know what eight track is. <laughs> <laughs> the other day i'm like mom they have eight tracks in here <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's how old i am i used yeah. to play eight tracks <laughs> um so now being so just in the last couple of years you guys got a really strong sound you got a great sound uh, uh, and i i compared it a little bit to paramore you, yes. see <laughs> Ah, I scored oh, points there. Yeah, I the old guy scored points here. Um, yeah, you guys got a Paramore sound, but you got such a strong sound for only being in the scene for a couple of years. How did that happen? You know, I'm not really sure. We started when I was like 14. Um, no, I started playing when I was 14. We started yeah. the band a couple years after. We started in 2017. 
Uh, we had a different base with us up till last year and then she joined. Um, <laughs> and so it definitely changed even from our most recent single cages into kind of what it is now. Yeah. And honestly, it's just kind of, you keep writing and it's whatever God downloads and we're like, all right, cool. I guess that's where we're going, you know? Well, you definitely got the, the right combination. Yeah. You know, uh, some some bands struggle for a while to find all the right ingredients. And you seem to have gotten them right yeah. off the bat. Yeah, that's what we've never worried about. Like, each person has their own style. Yeah, their own say. style, their yeah. own love of different artists. And so when we put it together, we don't try. I don't try to make him love country. You know, he doesn't mm -hmm. try to make me love I know it's not called straight screamo, but that's what I call it, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so, and putting it all together and she's just finding her own. She's only been playing for, I don't know, eight, eight months, months now. Eight, yeah. Eight, eight, eight or nine months now. So even wow, that grow into what she loves is really cool. So who's influencing you, Lise? Um, <laughs> Tanya Callahan really influenced. Who is Tanya Callahan? She is a bassist. She kind of plays with several bands kind of freelance yeah oh okay all right cool but yeah you and, listen to a lot of what is it demon hunter no. uh impending doom. oh impending, impending doom. doom oh impending doom, doom. I know that. <laughs> yeah we're seeing them dave are we yeah um they're gonna be at chains on chains oh will they all right well we'll tell them you said hello all right at least <laughs> yeah come on out to chains unchained <laughs> missouri yeah missouri missouri yeah I think we actually put in an email. So if you have a good word for us, please put it in. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, we we know some people. There. Yeah, we'll talk to a couple of people yeah. for you for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to talk. I know Cages is the big one. And I wanted to talk about a different song. And, and just like forgetting names, I've forgotten the name of the song. Um, help me out here, Aaron. He's is looking it, it up. Channel? Or is it, it one I sang? No, no, no. It is. Uh, hang on one second. Mm. I, I like your video, Cages. Who, yeah. who, land of who's, the, who's land of the was, Dead. Yeah. Who, whose idea was it to put in the uh, the kids in the cages? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So go, go ahead. The, the land of the Dead. I yeah. just. It, yeah, I just instantly when I played that instantly liked it. Yeah, usually i I gotta get into the song and hear the hook and all. Yeah. from the second i turned it on i instantly liked it what's that song about you know i rarely write songs off of like personal experience or i went like i went through this and i have this the older i get the more i do that but when i write songs usually a couple months later it comes back to me and i'm like oh so that's kind of what i can talk about and this one was really getting rid of the chain so to speak of religion and rules of you have to do this 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 versus just the freedom of living the gospel because that's what we believe um and so that's really what that song was is just the freedom of following the true christ and not worrying about you know nitty gritty little rules because the most important thing is just what is how would i say just that? i don't know just knowing that he's got your back kind of i feel like just yeah and that one, he actually, direct, usually I've directed and filmed all the videos, but that one is one that he has completely directed and filmed himself, so. Nice. Yeah. Sh sharing the responsibilities, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Team effort. Um, it was cool. I was impressed. You know, it, it, it's interesting that you say that because I was having a conversation yesterday with somebody about work, and I said, you know, it, it's pretty easy to just do things by the book because there's the book there's the the, it, the instructions right there i you know you don't have to pay anybody big money to sit there and follow the instructions line by line that uh, monkey can do that it takes a uh, it takes a an intelligent person to make decisions yeah. The, yeah you know what i'm saying it sounds like you're saying kind of the same thing yeah yeah you want to like get out of that like normal day-to-day -day life groove type stuff yeah. right Right. Hey, can we play that song, Aaron? Yes, we can. Let's do that. I, I dig that song, and I, I, I'm sure other people will dig to hear it, too. So uh, this is Undefeated. We're going to come back after. Name the song again. Fill in the blank. 
There they go. Land the dead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rock salt newscast experience. Taryn and Dave and undefeated on the Zoom call. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Live studio audience. We cram them into my living room every week. So you said earlier that your uh, parents were bis big Kiss fans. Have they ever said, why don't you guys like paint your face or something like that for the show? <laughs> we no, well, okay. we actually do have like show makeup, you know, like I love glitter. I can't you tell by the shirt. Okay. Um, so we put, you know, glitter things on, you know, and just we have the whole outfit, the whole get up. It's fun. <laughs> well, the hair definitely distinguishes you too. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, you can see all my roots coming back in, but well, you know, I, uh, I I told you I'm horrible with names, and Aaron said we got undefeated today, and I was like, I don't remember undefeated, and then I saw the picture. I, oh yes, oh, I've been waiting to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting to talk to you. So thank you. <laughs> so, so the song "Cages." Tell me about that song. So that song was once again breaking free. I have a very I'm very passionate about breaking free from oppression. Um, and so that song was based off of that. And the whole thing in the cages is kind of show that there was like a back door that you didn't see until the end. Mm -hmm. um, and then also you have the choice to choose whether you stay or whether you leave, you know? And that song actually filmed at a broken down old, I think it was a creamery. Um, that was really cool. It was behind one of our local ice cream shops. And so it's a noise coming from that place. I don't know what people thought. <laughs> <laughs> it probably had an incredible echo as well right oh my gosh yes. yeah yeah was, the acoustics was, yeah. the acoustics probably were not what's it i said but it worked out so yeah i was gonna say the acoustics probably were not very conducive to recording it live right oh no, no no they were not the yeah. it wasn't the big open spot where all three playing was open uh, in, uh, in the top and so it wasn't as bad but it was definitely hard to have him look like he was playing, but still play quiet enough so you can hear the audio. Yeah. Right. Um, so it was, I mean, it, it worked. It was our fastest video today that we filmed. The sun was super hot, so. It was hot. Yeah. It was it? Really was it? So that's also a blessing versus like it raining, but then we were like, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, well, yeah, and plus jumping around, you know, yeah. you got the lights and the jumping around and the activity and I mean, it's like 120 degrees, right? <laughs> well, I think the hottest, like 90. I was like, the hottest we get here is like 90. So to us, that's like. <laughs> that's fine, yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's like the wind chill. You know, it's 90, but it feels like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there wasn't even a breeze that day. It was hot. Uh, now, you talked but about um, uh, oppression. Uh, that from a personal or is just something uh, you, you've seen in life? It's from both. So how I got started, I was part of a youth group. I was 13. And through that youth group, there's just a lot of, you can't do this. You sh shouldn't be able to do this. Problems. Just, yeah. Um, and I lost a lot of confidence. And I was like, but I feel like I should be in music. Like I'm all right at it. I enjoy it. And then I ended up playing background guitar for a concert that they had up. So once again, I was 13, four chords so great <laughs> and they had a massachusetts band come in and the promoter for that band saw me and was like hey i want you to come and play at my festival from massachusetts mm -hmm. it was called the rock and worship festival i got anywhere from 600 to a thousand people and we thought that the worst thing that could happen is we didn't go again so right. um, my parents and my brother went and the people there were they were so much like me like something just clicked like there were all types of music there there's like contemporary and rock and reggae and scream, like even hip-hop jazz yeah was everything there but the thing is everybody was like me so that's when i knew i wanted to start the band so on the way home i asked christian if he would be my drummer Heck yeah. <laughs> and so, i never wanted to be a solo artist i've always wanted to be part of a team you know part of a band and just watching different walks of life and realizing you can have true freedom and joy, like despite your circumstances, you know, I'm not saying it's easy, but to even give a little bit of music, like people want to listen to music in all, like it's another, Oh, what is it called? It can change your mind, you know, like it can right. change your mood. So to okay. be able to do that is really cool. That's awesome. 
So, uh, Lise, you joined six months ago. So, um, how, did they have to beg you to join the band, or how did that all work? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think so. No, you want it. Yeah. You want it. Like, I wanted to join, and I was like, they were okay with us. We're like, yeah, sure, whatever. So, I was like, okay, great. Did you have to submit a demo tape and audition? <laughs> well, <laughs> our former bassist was leaving he finished out the summer with us because we had a couple uh bigger festivals bigger shows, yeah um and so during that we're, we're kind of looking around we're seeing we're kind of like what do we want to do now because we're, we're not going to stop playing music and then she was just like i'll do it and we're like you haven't picked up a bass before <laughs> like you don't even play guitar like are you sure? and then she started playing and we were just like all right like why not use what's in my own house you know sure. and so we figured we started out we play some small things you know practice and it stuck. So <laughs> it works. It, it works for hailstorm. Yeah. Travel, you know, and just different things. And yeah, practice is so much easier. We're yeah. always kind of like, like it used to be like we had to wait and we had like set dates and like everyone yeah. was so lined up because of work and stuff. But now we kind of get home, we yeah. lay around, and the merch's like, all right, let's go practice. Awesome. <laughs> 30 at night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah it worked uh, out for uh eddie van halen and alex van halen uh lizzie and rj hale i mean yeah was you know. rush no no okay i know they Who? were pretty cute, but i didn't know rush oh rush no no they not siblings but definitely family it worked out for the sweet brothers too yeah you those, know, those guys been, yeah they've been playing like 40 years i think <laughs> <laughs> they're like who <laughs> See, we got this generational gap. That's we are, right. We're 50, so we're like along the, we're probably we're older than, than your parents. Yeah, we got kids older than you. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm going to tell you, you guys really have touched into something. You tapped into something, and you've got a great, uh, you've got a great image, you've got great videos, and you've got great music. You've got all the ingredients, as I was saying earlier. And um, I, I see big things in your future. The just keep doing what you're doing, I think, is probably the best thing, best advice anybody could give you. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we you. appreciate it. Now, is your is your dad helping you out? I mean, being a Kiss fan and everything, has he ever given you like tips like, uh, you know, you got to get yourself some 12 inch platform heels and breathe fire. <laughs> Definitely the breathe fire. We're working on that one. Okay. <laughs> He's our sound guy and does yeah. a lot of. He does all of our sound too. Yeah, yeah, lights and sound. My brother actually does a lot of lights, and my mom is usually like the merch coordinator. So it's kind of a family affair, which kind of you know works well. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I I like seeing you know the family just all come together. Yeah. You know, over one thing and and show the support over what you're doing or or just. I don't know the whole ministry of it. If you want to call it a ministry, I don't know. Some yeah. bands, it's a ministry for them. Some bands, it's not. That's okay. Yeah. Um, what do you guys consider it? Um, we consider ourselves believers, but we don't consider the band like like a Christian entity. You know, like a doctor's office can't be a Christian doctor's office, but the people right. in it can be, and that can be, you know, yeah. their ministry through their work. So, of course, what we believe in comes through our songs because. Mm -hmm that's what you believe in and that's who you are as a person right um, so we don't think too hard about it you know we just kind of let the songs write as they write just let it flow yeah yeah, yeah. do you write all the music or uh do the, you let your brother and sister uh kind of interject i write a lot of the lyrics and the main melody line but then i take it to them and it morphs into whatever it will become yeah then we'll like throw suggestions out and then we just kind of like just keep playing it keep playing it yeah. and eventually like we'll get like one thing done that sounds super cool and then we'll just like yep that was it yeah <laughs> we're like wait what was that yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're rolling the tape on that one oh uh, yeah i've forgotten yeah now yeah. how long have you been playing drums um let's see i so technically i started like when i was really young like seven i got one of those like small drum sets but okay. i didn't get serious until um i was about 13 so i'm 18 now so i've probably been playing for what's that five five years seriously nice well i mean you got the you got the chops of anybody that's been doing it for 20 <laughs> you know 
I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I mean, I, I would have thought that you, you know, were born with a couple of drumsticks in your hand, you know? I mean, um, I've, I've always hit things for, I was like, I was always the guy that was just always like smacking, just doing stuff. So it was so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they play like you, like you smack your head on the way by, and I'm like, what's that? <laughs> Oh, now we can get into the brother sister stuff. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> See, that's that brings me to my next question, which is <laughs> if I was in a band with my brothers, and if I was the drummer especially, <laughs> um, I would uh I would do things to just break him up on stage. You know what I mean? Like I'd throw sticks at his head or you know, whatever I could do. You guys do anything like that just to like play with each other on stage, just Inside joke sort of yeah, thing. Like we definitely bit. go pop yeah. on stage. You've never thrown a stick at me yet. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's... You know, the silly faces sort of thing, you know. And <coughs> as she's just starting, we're working on like movement, you, like movement you know. Yeah. So there's times when I like go and I'm like, hey, hey, hey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's definitely it's entertaining. It's fun, you know. Yeah. So. Well, um. Now, I, I was just uh, speaking with uh, a woman from another band, Jennifer from Ignescent, and we were talking yeah, about... I just found them the other day. I hadn't heard of them before. I love it. Yeah, they're great. And uh, I was talking to her about how more women are fronting rock bands now, and it's really refreshing to see, and it's been going on for a few years. Mm -hmm. And um, do you notice, I'm kind of asking you one of the same questions I asked her, which is, do you notice that a lot of, a lot of more young girls are coming up and getting into the shows? And yeah. I mean, you're starting to, what's the word I'm looking for, Aaron? Uh, mentor, I guess, lead uh, these yeah. young female rockers. Oh, definitely. I've noticed more in the past year since I've noticed, but like Lacey Sturm has been one of my huge influences. But whenever I try to find like female fronted rock groups, it's they're not few and far between necessarily because you kind of have to know where to look. But it's also becoming more of a normal thing, you know, which I think which is, is cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not as uh, stand out ish. Yeah. As it used to be, you know, where like. I don't know. I'm just throwing out like, say, Hailstorm as a as an example yeah. where Hailstorm was such a uh, such a different thing at the time because, you know, yeah. she was kicking in the door. There weren't a lot of people doing what Lizzie Hale was doing. But now there are. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. I think she really did kick up, open the door uh, for acts like yourself, yeah. you know, to to do your thing. So. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be kind of cool seeing these young girls up there singing your songs and stuff like that, right? It is. We actually just played a show a couple weeks ago, and I forgot the words. I was like, Oops. but it was really cool because it was one of our first shows where we had people, like more than one person, like singing it back. And I was like, wait, that's really cool. Like, yeah. when did that start? You know? Yeah. Um, that was a cool moment. Um, it also helped me. I was like, oh, yeah, that's the words. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So did you? Uh, if I forget them and make them up. People, some people will know now. You know, and I'm like, oh. well, that's that's part of the that's part of the joy of I, I guess getting fans, right? Yeah, yeah. You have fans of the music; they are purists of the music. So even if you want to go change it, oh no, you can't. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> you better just write a different song there, <laughs> Meredith. <laughs> Yeah, just start and be like, oh, we're going this way. Yep, yep. Here's my remix. <laughs> my remastered remix of a, of a song. Yeah, my cover song from. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys saw upcoming shows at all? Yeah, we actually are coming to Indiana for our first time for the Kingdom Come Festival. Oh, you too. Wow. Ah. You. Well, you're going to get to hang out with Ignescent then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good and for you. Indiana earlier. It's the end of April. Um, so there's a Mercy Jam festival, but then they do like a fundraiser called the Spring Festival. So we're mm -hmm. playing the Spring Festival at the end of April. And then North Country Music Fest is up here in New York. And as far as I think they're planning on coming, as far as I know, but 
I didn't know if that was set in stone yet, but it would be cool to see them if they came. So we're awesome. super looking forward to it. We got some good things rolling this summer and yeah. always hoping for more. Awesome. Well, um that where where can people find you? Where are your socials and yeah. how can people find your music? Yeah, so we have all of our music videos and we have some goofy YouTube videos up. Uh, you can find that at Undefeated Official. Facebook, we're on Undefeated Official Music and Instagram, Undefeated underscore official. Awesome. Imagine that, brothers and sisters goofing around. <laughs> <laughs> and if you subscribe and follow, make sure to tell us where you're from. So. <laughs> all right. All over America and uh, the world. Yes, we've got we've got uh, some listeners all over the world, you know, That's here and there. It's amazing technology. It really is. It's kind of cool when when you find out that you got somebody listening in Singapore or something like that, you know? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we have a little tracker thing. We go through CA Baby. And so there, where was it? I think it was, uh, I want to say like uh, Norway. Or... Yeah, like Norway, like Sweden. And yeah, somewhere this, like, it was like really interesting. Yeah. yeah, it was like United States, however many, and then like Germany won. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the one you love, right? Is the one from the other SC. Like I'm throw out Singapore because that was like one of the first ones outside of America. So I'm yeah. Our Sing I don't know who our Singapore fan is, but big thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I forgot, Aaron, I, think, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, all right. All right. I, it looked like you had something to say. Yeah, and, yeah, all I right. Forgot. Hey, uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to do another song, right? We're going to do Cages. Cages. Oh, looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah and uh, if you like the song, definitely go check out the video on YouTube. Yes. You see them all locked up in a cage. <laughs> Except her. <laughs> yeah. She's not, she's not in a cage. <laughs> 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 all right it's cages from undefeated on a rock salt newscast experience and uh one last break with undefeated from new york yeah the uh brother sister act well the brother sister sister act uh, that's right there we go <laughs> <laughs> it's lise meredith and christian see yeah. i got it <laughs> yes Golfers clap for me. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to be at. We can Go ahead. see your names on the screen. So. What's that? I said we can kind of cheat because we can see your names on the screen. Right. Yes. Right. I didn't even change mine to uh, my fake name. Yes. You're, you're seeing my real name right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So you guys are going to be at Kingdom Come this summer? Yes. Yeah. That's and how exciting. Time. So yeah, I'm I'm so excited. That was a really cool call to get because we were like, no way. <laughs> this was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene. Time, mom called me. She's like, so would you want to go to Indiana this summer? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, and that's what I would say uh, if Aaron called me and go, well, you want to go to Indiana? I go, why? <laughs> <laughs> but why it, would I want to go there? <laughs> but it can't be, can be ninety degrees and humid there. Yeah. During during that festival so uh you know dress appropriately <laughs> yeah they're ready for it to be hot yeah 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 well you're probably used to a little bit of humidity being from upstate new york right it's kind of yeah. humid up there doesn't it yeah it's, it gets humid yeah i went to oklahoma a couple times and so it was hot but it's the humidity that gets you but humidity is good for curly hair so at the same time i'm like it's good for curly hair but it, and i've got a really kind of a a serious question even though it's going to sound like a joke, but a serious question for uh, a female act, you know, you've got to yeah. kind of put on the makeup, right? And yeah. you're going on stage and it's hot and humid out. Number one, it's got to be uncomfortable. But number two, doesn't it start to run? Some do. There are certain waterproof things that you can get. So it doesn't. But whenever we're done with the show, that's one of the first things I like is taking it off because then it just... There's sometimes it runs into your face, like in your, I mean, in your eyes, and it's, it's a whole mess. Yeah. A dance girl. <laughs> I know. I, I think about that, you know, because in the summertime out here, you, you can get 110 in here in Sacramento, uh, even 120. But, uh, and I, you walk outside and you just instantly start sweating. And I think to myself, oh man, I'm so glad I'm not a girl because I would just be <laughs> doing this all day long, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. It, 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 see, Christian, we're lucky to be guys. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. When we filmed Shadows. I don't know if you saw that one. It's with uh, he has face paint on. Yeah. And so that was hilarious because I'm like, hold still. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. It, it like fills your pores and everything. And I mean, I did for uh, speaking of your, your dad uh, uh, is a Kiss fan. I went as Gene Simmons for Halloween one year and I painted my nails and I had the full makeup. And, and I was like, this is really uncomfortable. And I was like pulling the paint off my nails. I'm like, I don't know how you do this. <laughs> You know, he, he 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 said when we saw Kiss, it or, or read takes him three hours to put all that makeup on. Yeah, I'd be out. I'd be out. I'd be out three hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Not doing no more. <laughs> it's, I mean, well, also part of the show and part of where you want to head, you know. So you want to yeah. right keep up. stage presence that yeah. gets people. Yeah. You see, Alice Cooper's got it right. Just put some eye makeup on and be done with it. Move on. <laughs> we definitely changed though over years, and my mom always says minimum input, maximum output. There you go. How to do things better, you know, to right. be able to keep walking towards what we want to go to, you know, without right. all of the time and just you know not making it like making it easier, but still getting the same amount done, you know, like better systems. Right. Well, and I mean recognizability, uh, the hair. You know, yeah. I mentioned earlier, as soon as I saw the hair, I went, oh, yeah, that's right. Undefeated. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of those, you know, small input, big output, yeah. big, big impact, like your mom was saying. Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> yeah. And Azariah, um, she puts the uh, the bolt on her face. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Eyes. yeah. 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 And, and so it's cool. So, I, again, I know you gave them earlier. Your socials and all that, How, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that, YouTube. Yeah, you can find all of our music on any platform you listen to. And, yeah, go uh, check out the videos. Yep. Uh, and then you're going to Indiana and hopefully a lot of other places this summer. Yes. Yep. <laughs> well, that, how exciting. I mean, yeah. really, for, for Lise being the youngest, I choose you because you're the youngest. How exciting. To like, I mean, just get out on the road and do this. Still excited. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm oh. like, when I was 15, I would have loved doing that. Absolutely. Sometimes I'm like amazed that I'm actually like the bassist in a band. So I'm like, what? <laughs> See now that, and that is the that is the attitude to keep. When I met Art, what's that? I said, I'm sorry, I missed that. Oh, I said, that's the attitude to keep because, yeah. um, you know, I mentioned uh, uh, earlier, it might have been with with uh, Jennifer, but one of my favorite guitarists is John Five, uh, who plays with Rob Zombie. And he has this, I've met him, he has this way about him of, he just thinks it's really cool that he gets to do what he's doing. Yeah. You know, and that he gets to play with these famous people and He's not, he doesn't have an ego like that. Uh, like, oh, I'm, you know, this great guitar player and I'm doing this. He, it's more like, wow, I'm, I get to play with the people that I was a fan of. Yeah. Um, and that's such a cool um, character trait in some of these musicians. Yeah. And if you can, if you can maintain that level and, and do away with the ego, that me. <laughs> yeah well i think it's also cool as as uh, we wrap this up here that you guys get along i mean some family do, you know they they're like oh my god uh, they're putting gonna, on a show here yeah, i think if we, <laughs> we had to go two weeks in a in a bus no, like, no. and with each other uh we'd probably hate each other by the time and they're, they're, they they seem to get along like you grew up with each, like we've grown up with each other you know so it's what's the difference right know? So right, it, it almost uh, makes it easier. I feel like. What's that? So it almost makes it easier. I feel like. Well, yeah, because uh, I know that if I had a fight with my brother over, if we were in a band and I, we were having a fight over a song or something like that, it's different than having a like. If I was to have an argument with Aaron right now over the show, it would become a little more personal. <laughs> I know for us, okay. me and him, we're a family of. I don't know. We call it loud arguers, you know, so we'll be like, and then like, like, all right, cool. We saw 
solved it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a, that's the way I am too. I I think that I think arguments are meant for growing, not for destroying. You, you know what I mean? It, it's for someone, if not both, to grow out of it and uh, learn. And you'll grow as a band if you can have those kind of arguments where you know 20 minutes later you're like hey you want to go to mcdonald's yes please <laughs> yeah <laughs> no that's the apology want to go to mcdonald's <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> well, it, 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 but with meredith though she's the oldest so she always wins well yeah you can so, crack the whip yeah. for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh look at the sister <laughs> yes you know hey. I, don't, I don't get the win at all <laughs> uh hey just remember i can go solo <laughs> <laughs> Them, you know? I know. That's right. I'm just it's making the right. joke. It's not but, about me. It's about the, the team and what we work towards. You, you know, know but that, at least you can do what my my little brother used to do when he wanted to win. He just start crying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then mom and dad came in, you know. Oh, you're the one in the middle, Christian. So you, you know, you're you're stuck. You know, so you just start crying. Siblings, and there's two younger than her. So oh, like, she's not the youngest. Wow. Oh. Our, 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 but not the family. Okay. How, many, how many's in the family? How many brothers and sisters? Kids. Six? Yeah. Four wow. brothers, uh, two sisters. Yeah. Wow. Uh, For West to go. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And are the three younger than all of you? Um, there's one in between these two. So it goes me, him, Alex, Lise, and then we have the two babies, Ian and Ty. Although so. they're like 14 and 11, so probably should stop calling them the babies. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they, are they, are they going to be a part of the band or uh, no? It, it, they all kind of help out in different ways. Um, the younger one can pick up any instrument and just kind Start of playing play it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, don't know where he's going. Can hold a pretty good tune too for being, you know, 11. So yeah. don't know. Crazy. Yeah. I remember seeing Rebecca St. James. Uh, okay. years ago and there was two little dudes two little dudes that were that were just kind of running around when i when i saw her i did an interview with her uh and uh there was two little dudes and those guys are freaking country now and nice. so yeah so yeah. those those guys those little guys are are big big acts now and so yeah. and nice. so yes and so ho hopefully the the two little guys get involved with music and all that that'd be great yeah you or you know, keep them as roadies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also helpful if they know how to play. You know, someone's like so sick and you can't just cancel the show. You know what I mean? So it could also be like one of those filling situations. Yeah, understudy. It's like for the sure, yeah. like the Partridge yeah. family, which they probably hadn't even heard of. Damn. Yeah. I've heard of, but I don't know anything. About <laughs> You know, we should have you back just to play old man trivia with us. Uh, yeah. We can just come up with all kinds of old things from like 40 years ago, 50 yeah. years ago. We'll have somebody Googling on the side. We're like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> or, or just like, Mom, what's the answer? <laughs> you know, so. these guys are really old. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't even know. <laughs> well, we're, we're excited for what the future has for you guys. And we just uh, hope big things and hope you have a blast in Indiana. And uh, hopefully, you know, we may see you, you know, on the road someday on yeah, the West Coast here. Awesome, yeah, man. definitely make it out to California. Yes. Yeah, it's been super fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Undefeated on the Rock Salt Newscast experience. <laughs>